Welcome to week seven. While Doug gets over here, I told you I'm in shorts. Um, today it's, uh, <clears throat> some people are a little bit cold. I'm getting ready to go to Hawaii to find out about that wiki. Um, and <laughs> that some term. people are a little wiser than others, <laughs> yes, you're right. <laughs> anyway, um, in this week we're going to be talking about uh, the uses of uh, video and imaging. Um, specifically, so we're going to try to point out some of the tools and in fact we're going to do a little session later uh, on the, the try to make use of uh, VoiceThread because that's a cool video, co video collaboration tool. Anyway, um, uh, to get started I'm going to try to talk as long as possible so Nathaniel freezes out here. It's so not that be... cold, it's minus five. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, an old professor of mine, well yeah, he's old now, had a told us a story about people using technology for the first time. He was working in an office and they had an accountant that refused to have anything to do with technology. It was back in the 70s, she wouldn't even use a calculator. Everything was a pencil and those big long ledgers. Until VisiCal came out. And then all of a sudden, she looked at it, she saw one demo of it, and she had every book you could buy on it, and she spent all her time learning how to use VisiCalc. But hold it, what does that have to do with images, Doug? But I'm getting there. Oh, no, I know, I'm I know. I'm getting there. Are you? Yes, Okay. 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 So you're just trying to slow it down <laughs> yourself now. Okay, so what happened was, is she went from somebody that was a Luddite. She didn't care about technology at all, didn't want to know about it. The way it was before was fine. And then she found the one thing, the one tool that made all the difference to her. For me, that's exactly the thunderbolt that I got when I found Flickr. As soon as I saw Flickr, it was the first day, and Flickr is a, a, was a, is a software that helps you share pictures and mess around with them. And it's a community based around sharing pictures and having conversations about images. And, and today there's a lot of tagging going on in Flickr, isn't there? Yeah. So I mean, you can actually, there's actually visualization, um, visualization software on the web that uh, hopefully we can have a find of it or somebody else can find it and post it where you can see and search Flickr tags and represent clouds of images on that Flickr tag. A fantastic, cool tool. Which, the, 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 the tags weren't there originally. And in fact, when you, the first person, when you're an early adopter with a technology and you get a login for this company that owns Flickr, uh, they get rather annoyed when they get bought out and you still keep trying to use the old password. Because I went in for years with using the old password and they kept giving me the, hey, you need to change your password, right? We've moved on, we've moved on. And finally it was like, you're not allowed in unless you change your password right now. But, so, but... What does this have to do with professional learning? How do images and video support my professional learning? Well, one of the articles we found this week is around video, because that's my, Doug's interested in photos and I'm interested in video, but really, what does it have to do with learning? Well, I think some of the, some of the discussion around that is, well, you know, uh, certainly video in this course has been used as a starting point, as a discussion point, as a hook to get you thinking about um, the topic for the week. So I think, you know, our, our examples um, speak for themselves in terms of the video. I mean, we're having a good conversation. Um, I challenge you to see if there's any other courses that have this kind of um, interactivity at the beginning of, of the week. And, uh, but really, video has been written about or talked about a fair bit in terms of a way to start discussions or be as a hanger for discussions, just like in this course. Images and representations? Now, for me, uh, I find images really important in my professional learning and in my research. With my research, I had a, a grad student one time, and she was trying to describe a technology implementation in a school, and she kept saying, well, it's not working because of this and because of that. And I sent her away and said, take some pictures of the room. I need to see the context. Rather than you describing the context, take a picture. As soon as I saw the pictures, I was like, oh, well, of course, it was obvious. The picture was worth 10,000 words. 1,000 words, oh no. <laughs> yes, I know. Now, to, now today, you're right, worth 10,000 words. Um, because potentially, um, I mean, I know some places when I'm looking for ideas on terms of how to di make a diagram or even what kind of picture I might use, one of the things I do is I go to Google Images and search on a, on a word or two words and I go, hey, yeah, that's a cool idea. And then I can go and actually create something or find something like that. Yeah. Right? So. We're not sure how you use it. Hopefully we'll find out. Um, this is how two ways we've used images and video in, in the learning, uh, in professional learning so far. And um, no, I'm not cold. Do you want my gloves? 
No. You no, sure? I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> See you next week. Have um, fun. Have a good week. <laughs>